back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, check out some of the recent videos that we've been putting out the last few weeks. We got some cool content in some different areas, but today we're actually at Fletcher's place. Big shout out to Fletcher, he's not with us today, but we have his little boat right here. We're gonna be trying to catch some big bass. We actually had a big storm that was about to roll in and all of a sudden it just passed by. Pressure's pretty low. I think the fish are gonna be biting really good. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, it's cloudy out. I mean, everywhere you look, there's clouds. Um, barely any sun peeking through. I think the bass are gonna be roaming really good today. And if we can get a moving bait in front of their face, I think they're gonna end up eating it. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. Got Cody behind the camera. It's gonna be a good time today, but let's go ahead and hop on the John boat, get out there, rig up some rods, hopefully lean into a really big one today. Time to rig up right here. We have a Texas rig. All right, one fourth ounce EWG. We're actually gonna cut it off. I think you're gonna catch him today. I think this is gonna be a bait that we probably need if the bite's a little tough, but let me tell you, with how this weather is right now, pressure dropping, clouds in the sky, these bass are gonna be rubbing. Tie on the old reliable red eye shad that we've just been smoking them on. This natural color has been getting the job done. We're gonna throw this around see how they're going to eat it. Hopefully they're going to smunch it. And I actually have a crawl pattern lipless crankbait with us today as well. So if they're not eating the natural color, we'll switch up to the crawl pattern, the red color, and we'll go from there. But I think we're going to start off with this, just cover a lot of water, see how the fish are going to act today. And hopefully they're just going to munch and we don't need to slow down at all. So guys, we just got out here and the end of the lake that we put in on, there's so much bait. I think we just picked the right spot. So what I'm gonna do is start fan casting out here. See if we can get one to commit to this lipless. And then fish that bridge and work our way down the lake. One just came up right there. Yeah, there's fish in this pocket. We could probably start off with catching a few. We picked the right spot. The last time we came out, we went on the other end of the lake, but this bait moves and I think we're in the right area. Yeah, I think we catch one right here, right now. This bait popping, dude. I just saw a fish come up and eat a bait fish. Okay. Yeah, I Fishing should be really, it's just we, once we find them, it's gonna be good. I was kind of trying to catch one real quick, let's see. Oh my god, this is a giant. Oh my god. Over at least five pounds. This is a giant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she might be six. I can barely see her because the pond's in the water, but this is a big fish on the Thunder Cricket. This is a strong fish too. Oh my god. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, that's six pounder. That might, yeah, pass it. It's either five or six. Come on, baby. Oh my God, it's a freaking toe. Don't spit it, please, don't spit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cody, come on now. Last video we filmed, we start off with a dang like eight pounder and then we start this one off with a... That's a big fish. Cody came in clutch today for you guys. That's over five pounds, bro. Has to be. That's exactly why you throw that thunder cricket, that chatter donk, is because the freaking big ones bite it. Something about a chatter donk gets those big ones. We were patient. I didn't have a bite this whole time. We've been fishing for what, maybe 45 minutes? All of a sudden, thump. First fish is like a five pounder. Zero it out. Just getting official weight on this baby. First fish today, I can't believe that. Mm-hmm. Six point. Mm -hmm. five, five, five. Five pounds, five ounces. That's a big one though, dude. Come on now, almost a five and a half pounder to start off the video. That's exactly what you want. That thunder cricket right there. You don't get many bites, but let me tell you, when you get bites, it gets you a toad like that. And this fish is long, but it's just so thick at the same time. And that, what a way to start the video. Give me some, brother. Give me some. What a way. Right there. Let's get her back in the water. We're keeping track today. We have one fish. We're gonna see what our best five weigh, but that's a five and a half pound, almost a five and a half pounder. Thick belly. Just overall beautiful bass. We've been catching some toads recently. I knew right when I hooked this baby right here. There she goes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have been starting off the videos recently with some big ones. That's just a good feeling. Right here, Cody. We gotta make it happen again. First fish, 5.5. Let's go for one that's over six. This is the Thunder Cricket that I'm using. Just a white and chartreuse chatter donk right here. Got one of those striking swim baits on the back. It's just a big profile. This is actually a three quarter, which is normally what I want to throw, but I didn't have a half. I have one half with me, but this was already tied on. And uh, man, she thumped it. I'm telling you, these baits right here, thunder crickets, any, any type of chatter bait, to catch the toes. You guys know, like over the years, I've caught more big fish on a bait like this than anything. And we're just gonna see if we can put together over a 20 pound bag today. I think it's possible. I was very patient with that right there. I, was, I knew the bite was gonna come. I was praying it was gonna come. It happened, but I was reeling this thing super slow. Oh my God, it's another toad, it's another toad, it's another toad, it's another toad. Giant, oh my God, that's a freaking six pound, six plus, six plus. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, baby, you a big, dude, that's bigger than six. Please stay, dude, he's barely hooked. Oh, this is not good. All right, we just barely hooked, guys, but we need this fish. We're gonna have a massive bag today. Oh my God. There's no way. I can't believe it. Cody's smiling behind the camera. I know I got him excited. I got you excited, don't I? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, how many casts after that? Maybe five? We're on him now. Look at that, that's a six pounder. Look how big his head is though. Oh my God, what a toad. You guys better be thanking Cody. Hashtag, thank you Cody in the comment section down below for bringing the scale because we're gonna actually tally up our bag today. We've had two bites that are over five. Are you kidding me? That thunder cricket getting the job done. Let's go ahead and get a weight on this girl, man. I'm ready to catch some more. That's insane. Terrified me. Her head is like a seven pounder, but she gets a little skinny down at the bottom. But that was just a mean looking fish. Zero it out. We've got over 10 pounds of two fish. Please be six. Oh, come on, baby. I'm not gonna do it. Five pounds, 11 ounces. Five and three quarters right there. Just about. Look at that, we're gonna tally it up. I need to put these in my phone. 
five pounds, 11 ounces. We just caught a five, five. Let's go. I, I, what did I say? I said, now let's try to catch one over six. And of course she's just a little shy. So that is a toad right there. That's exactly why we go fishing every day. It's exactly why we get so excited when we get out on the water. Cause you never know when you're going to hook a giant like that. Let's get her back. Catch a 5.5 five and then throw back in five casts later. Catch a 5.11, that's a brute. Freaking brute. I just can't believe the first two fish were that big. We got 11 pounds. Exactly 11 pounds, actually. Exactly 11 pounds with two fish. So we have a 5.5, five, then we have a 5.11, 15 ounces of a pound. That puts us exactly at 11 pounds with two fish. Two fish, guys. We catch another five pounder that's gonna put us at 16 pounds with three fish. We are on the way to catching a, a high, high, like mid 25 pound bag. I know we can do it right now. All right, we are getting eaten alive by gnats. Cody's gonna put some bug spray on him. So, fan cast right here. Watch us catch another one. Oh my god. Dude, there's one in there. Dude, I got another one. No, another. I can't believe this. What is going on? All right, he's not a five pounder, but he's a, he's a solid two. There we go. Third fish. Next cast, guys. This thunder cricket. Look at it right on the top of his mouth. Getting the job done. That is a solid two pounder. We're just going to call him two. We're not going to win. Here we go. Look at that thunder cricket right there. Right there on top of his mouth. Two pounder. What do you say, Cody? Two pounder? We're going to leave him at two. So we have 13 pounds of three fish. Pretty. He, he was eating it like a big one, dude. It scared me. Next cast, literally. These fish are, this is the thing. We fished for a while. We saw a lot of bait fish just didn't have any bites. All of a sudden we move spots. Boom, 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 boom. We're getting bites every cast. Oh man. I'm just like stoked. Those are, dude, those are some big. Oh my God, he's knocked me sideways. Those are some big fish. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. God. Oh, that was like one of those bites that I'll remember for 10 plus years. That was stupid. Shatter dunk up there like 10 times, which is this, threw it up about five times. Finally have one bite it. Sad part is I stuck him. I don't think he's gonna bite again unless there's another one. I was really working slow, dude. I, I just had a feeling there was a fish right there. Mm. I just know how big that fish was. That was another really good one. I don't know if she was five, but I would say she was four plus. Oh my gosh, another one. Another one. Giant. I haven't even seen him, but he feels huge. Oh. He's a three pounder. Dang, I thought he's another five. But hey, can't complain with that. This is gonna put us at 16 pounds with four fish. Boom, right there. Look at that. That's a solid fish right there. But look at his red lips. Oh, oh my gosh, it came right off too. That's a pretty fish. I might as well get a weight on her. I think she's now I'm looking at her. She's probably just high two, two and a half to two and three quarters, but we'll get a weight just to know what we have. It's our fourth fish today. We haven't had any nine keepers, any like small ones. So. Oh my gosh, close. Two pounds, 13 ounces. She went to 214 and then went off. So two or three quarters, that was about what I was thinking, high, high two pounder. That's a nice fish right there. 
about 16 pounds with four fish. So all we need is a four pounder, we have a 20 pound bag. It's a pretty one right there. She felt so big though, oh my gosh. I thought that was another five, six pounder, but let's get back in there. Some good fishing today. I haven't seen the fishing conditions been as good as they are today in a while. That's a good fish. It's probably about the same size as the last. If not, that might be probably high, high too. I'm not even gonna wait. It's a nice fish. Had a big head on him, small body. But there might be another fish here. We're just gonna have to keep casting. It's crazy, guys, when you're fishing. Just keep in mind, like where there's one fish, there could be multiple. If you have that open mindset like that, when you find it stacked up, I mean, you can just catch them and push. But the biggest key to today has been keeping this chatterbait bumping off the cover, which I've been fishing a lot of laydowns. I've been letting this thing tick off the laydown, so I feel it hitting it. Keep in contact with that. Not only that, but I'm reeling this thing so slow. And I think that's the key to getting these bites. If I was reeling it really fast, I don't think we'd be catching the fish that we're catching. But that slow retrieve, I've really triggered this fish to bite. <laughs> I've never like hook set to catch the that was very weird Nice dude just loaded up on that thing it just randomly stopped vibrating next thing you know there's a fish on there and that is a skinny little bass It's so crazy because normally you wouldn't have small ones on the chatter dog but today we got a few that guy is so skinny. I need to eat him a few double cheeseburgers. I gotta throw this and then I'll catch it. bunch of bait popping at the mouth of this pocket and throwing that chatter donk for a while and I knew exactly what to throw pick up that lipless sure enough first cast this fish hammers it but guys I think that's going to end off today's video if you guys enjoyed this one be sure to hit that like button let me know what videos you guys want to see in the comment section down below come almost 20 pounds today which was a phenomenal day we had that 5.5 then the 5.11 which was the big bass sadly, sadly we didn't get anything over that but had a lot of good fish even this pretty guy right here Thank you so much for 